Hey gang, we are in Halifax, Massachusetts today at Central Cemetery and we're here to visit somebody pretty famous from World War II. A folk hero actually, but you know a lot of times folk heroes are storybook people, sometimes made up, but this guy's for real. You ever heard of Kilroy was here? That's right, James Kilroy, he started all that. That cartoon, that phrase. And it would take off all over the European theater of war, World War II. So let's talk about him, the real guy behind the story. And let's look at some graves on the way. So James worked as a shipbuilder. This is how this all started. And it was, of course, during World War II. He was in Quincy, Massachusetts, and he worked for the Four River Shipyard there. And he, that's where he originally claimed that he, he was the one behind all this with his rivet making. Now what he would do is he would take a piece of chalk and he would mark at the end of the day when he was finished cleaning up and heading out and say this is kind of where I stop. Now the reason they would do that is because they would be paid by the number of rivets that they did. And based on that you would get paid and of course given that your goal was going to have dishonest people. Then you have these guys go, hey, I'm going to be really smart. I'm just going to wash this chalk mark off. I'm going to put the same chalk mark up 100 or 200 rivets up the seam. And I'll get paid more and I'll get some of that man's money. Well, Kilroy didn't like that. He saw that was going on. So he, this was his way. He would just not put a mark. It would say Kilroy was here and draw some little funny face. Now, doing that over and over and over again, you can just imagine that, you know, the ships get sent overseas, a lot of transport ships, and a lot of his work was in the unpainted areas, at least such that people could see this, and people were like, who's this Kilroy guy? He's on all these ships. And then, of course, we've got some artists in the armed forces and pilots and everything, you know, they're like, hey, I'm going to draw that. So all over, all over the theater of war, you have these cartoons popping up. Now, if you're like me, I always thought that was like one guy, like, how did he get to all these battles and all these places? Well, it was a proliferation of a great idea. And it was actually, it turned into kind of a morale booster for soldiers. They'd see Kilroy was here and they'd be like, he was here, he was here. Now what's funny is as this grew and grew and grew, it even fooled Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was like, who is this guy? Who's this Kilroy? We need to get him. He thought it was a code name of a high-level spy. And when they had the Potsdam Conference, you know, when Churchill, Truman, and Stalin, the famous picture of them seated, it is said that Stalin found the Kilroy was here face and writing when he was in the bathroom, the VIP bathroom, no less. And he said, who was Kilroy? I want to meet this guy. Famous war photographer Robert Kappa noted a use of the phrase at Bastogne during the Battle of the Bulge. Now the Battle of Bastogne, super, super famous band of brothers. I mean, Dick Winters, you guys all know the story of the band of brothers. Can you imagine? And one of the famous leaders there was Anthony McAuliffe. And on the black charred walls of an abandoned barn, scrawled in white chalk, was the legend of General Anthony McAuliffe's soldier. And it said, Kilroy was stuck here. Because <laughs> that was one bad place. If you haven't looked into that story of Bastogne, you've got to check it out. After the war, there were some 40 people that came forward saying, I did it, I did it. But they did a contest 
James Kilroy was ultimately credited after it was verified by his cohorts at the ship, shipbuilding, the shipyard. They said that was our riveter and we are at his grave. Father James Kilroy, wife Margaret. 1902 to 1962, 1904 to 1991. Now, James continued to serve. He served as a member of the Boston City Council and he actually also was the Massachusetts House of Representatives he, he served. So sadly he died in 1962 here, age of 60. And thank you for your service, sir. We must respect our veterans. Hats off to you and the Kilroy family for your sacrifices and thank you all out there who presently serve and those who have passed. Thank you all for your brave sacrifices. You are truly our heroes. Rest in peace.